Welcome everybody, ladies and gentlemen, this is Burning Metal, I am your host Tom, and tonight we're just going to go down that old Amazon rabbit hole, and you know, sometimes it's late at night, and weird things happen, <laughs> you may have put something in the cart, and pushed that dreaded buy now button, and oh, a day or two, or maybe even a day, maybe even that day in some cases, uh, you might have something just show up, and uh, you know, um, so with that said, uh, this is the holy edge. <laughs> oh, some of these companies uh, are great on Amazon. Uh, some of these uh, Chinese knife manufacturers, uh, this doesn't really have a model number. This is the holy edge 9.6 inch Tonto blade. So overall, 9.6 inches <laughs> we'll get into this in just a second we're gonna sip on a little bit of this dragon's milk origin this is from uh new holland they are out of michigan holland michigan and they make dragon's milk uh let's see classic bourbon barrel age stout they do a lot of different variations of it and they've also got into the distilling and uh spirit side of things as well and so this is their small batch bourbon whiskey the origin what a great looking bottle uh, yeah if you can uh, see the, the scales the gradation on those scales we've got that dragon etched in there what a great looking bottle um and they've kind of come a long way um They've made some attempts, some hits or misses in terms of uh, <sighs> distilling spirits, aging spirits, and what they've brought to market. And this may be one of the better examples of something they've done. So we'll get into that as well as we move along here with this video. But up this evening, the <laughs> Holy Edge, maybe they mean Holly Edge, but hey, I'll take it as this is a sanctified blade here to do the work of your great Lord and Savior, Dancing Jesus. So, with that said, let's get into it. Okay, crappy pleather leather. They, they claim it is cowhide. Uh, smell test kind of sort of smells like leather so uh could be could not be not quite too sure really god i guess wouldn't look so bad if it didn't have that crappy white nylon stitching on it this would have been at least a cotton that you could wax and uh was uh maybe a black or brown color that would look so much better than uh that white that sticks out like a uh hmm however you want to take that <laughs> nice little decorative embosing on that leather uh, but there we have <laughs> what they claim to be a mirror polish pretty shiny uh, D2 blade steel with a tanto style tip and uh, American tanto nice sweeping curvature on this not just a straight straight tanto so I do appreciate that. I do appreciate this big uh, ample jimping up here. This came completely unmarked. So when you're looking on Amazon and I've seen pictures and other uh, reviews of this where there is some branding on the blade and it says D2. I don't really know if this is D2. It um, feels a little flexible, but I, I you know, have no way to really say one way or the other whether or not that's real d2 i can say that they claim it is a g10 handle scale and that it sh assuredly is not <laughs> that is a very hard uh shiny plastic on that handle scale but all in all not bad not bad ergonomics doesn't feel bad there's enough texture to give you some grip um so a really great little fixed blade tanto not that large but yet not that small so it really works um it's a pretty good 
grind lines, the blade and the grind on the blade itself uh, on the edge is just uh, okay. It is sharp. It's not paper slicey sharp, so this is going to need a little bit of attention. I haven't really touched it yet. Uh, I'll probably hit it up uh, with a fine belt and then move on to a leather strop and see if we can't uh, get that to a slicier uh, performance but not bad looking okay we're talking like i said adventures on amazon it's up late at night uh hey this is a 25 dollar knife um delivered to you the next day or you know uh, within a certain time frame not too bad so i uh, kind of had some expectations going into this looking at it it kind of you know, uh, we all shop on amazon and things come up suggested and when you're searching it just kept popping up and it cracked me up with the holy edge name so i figured why not let's just uh pull the trigger see what it's about and and you know it's got its pluses its minuses i don't mind that this is a plastic hard plastic handle scale i kind of bought this with the intent that i may just go ahead and make my own custom scales for this particular blade i have some really nice uh barrel staves and a few things that i may uh use for a handle on this so i thought that'd be kind of cool um yeah you know all in all you know price paid whether it's d2 or not uh i think is you know doesn't wouldn't bother me if this was 420c or something so hey um let's go ahead and <sighs> contemplate on this with a little sip of this dragon's milk origin really lovely sweet nose as i said earlier they've had hits misses this is one of the better examples of something they've done really nice sweet nose with a really good oaky background nice little amount of spice to it Really friendly, approachable, and so drinkable. Slight banana with oak and, you know, <laughs> baking spice. Um, pretty decent finish. Uh, pretty good mouthfeel. This is uh, 95 proof, so, you know, not bad. Not bad. It's not cut down, uh, so that's good. Could it be a little higher maybe maybe that would give a little bit more oomph to the overall impact of the nose and the palate but mm. cheers good job new holland dragon's milk great looking bottle and more importantly it's a pretty damn good uh whiskey inside of that bottle five years not the oldest not the youngest but definitely shows that it uh, had some maturation occurring so cheers mm. of course side current with the uh <laughs> look at that can what great artwork on there war pigs ominous portent munich style dunkel We'll just let you guys read that yourselves there. What great artwork and uh, marketing. And it's a collaboration tie-in with Three Floyds. So, uh, yeah. Not bad at all. I enjoy Dunkel. And it is a pleasant surprise coming in a variety pack. Ah. Well, you know, that's it. Uh didn't really like the sheath for this the overall knife itself is you know it's okay um i have plans to do some modding and you know this may be one of the first knives i try to make a custom sheath for i may put my hands and see how it goes to make a, a kydex sheath for that because that kind of is my preference but maybe even a better leather sheath that uh mm, just uh maybe will work better with it so hey 
hope you guys uh, enjoy this. Give me a like. Give me a subscribe. Um, we'll keep rolling on these. Uh, have some fun on Amazon. <laughs> Not bad for 25 bucks. Not perfect, but hey, manage your expectations. Have a nice day. Cheers. <laughs>